Hi guys, so I'm back with the part two of my lipstick declutter and as I said in my last video I did swap some of these around the taller one at the back and then the shorter at the front here so first of all I'm just gonna remove this this is a backup this is a Pat McGrath this is a lip gloss and I've still got the other one and it's in coral liaison so that's just a backup so I'll actually put that in my backup drawer but first we'll finish off with these ones that I didn't quite get to in the last video these are the velvet matte lip pencil by NARS and these are really lovely and I'm going to keep these they are this one I've used a bit it's been sharpened down and that could possibly fit in the tall one but I want to keep them all together so I'll be popping them back in here so we'll have a look at the first color and this is dragon girl I just think that these for mattes are just really really comfortable on the lips and I think they look really good as well this one is mysterious red and then finally we have sex machine and that is a beautiful color as well but this red here is absolutely gorgeous but i really do like the formula i find for a matte that they don't dry down and they're very very comfortable on the lips and they don't dry down so they emphasize the lines on your lips i just think that they are really good lip pencils and i will be keeping all of those so I'm just going to put them there because I'll put them back in here later. Next are some Bobbi Brown lipsticks. Now I think these are nearly all tints so they won't show that well. But I will show you this one. I want to get some more Bobbi Brown lipsticks because I really like them. This one is in Blondie Pink. This is the Crushed Lip Colour. And I know I'll be keeping this because I really like the colour. It's a beautiful just a really beautiful nude and when you put a whole bobby brown look together this just goes with the whole look that really soft sort of natural nude look these are quite new and i don't think these were released in the usa they're released in i think asia the uk um and here in new zealand and possibly in europe these are the extra lip tints and this one is Bare Bloom and then we have Bare Rose. So these just have just a hint of colour on your lips. But I quite like it. If you really want a no makeup type of look, I think these are just really pretty for a wash of colour. You have to do quite a few swipes so to get any on. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. But they have a beautiful gloss and they are really comfortable on the lips. I think they're lovely. So this one is Bear Rose. This one will show up a little bit more. I'll put this one over here. But there has to be, just so I can show you the swatches, I have to do quite a few swipes. But they are really lovely and just give a really nice shine. And the packaging on these is really beautiful too. This was limited edition packaging. I think this was for the new year and this color is in beer claret so this is more of it's got more of a brown sort of red color i don't know whether you can see it much i think i found with this you can't really sort of see the color very much it does show up quite nicely on the lips but it actually isn't swatching that well but compared to my face my arms are a lot more they're definitely brown and more of a medium tone so that is the shade bare claret so i will be keeping that i have worn that before and like it this one you'll hardly be able to see this is bare pink and this came this was later last year i think in this packaging and this really just hardly shows at all this is sort of just it's like a adding a gloss i mean there is a hint of pink i don't know whether you'll be able to see that just a very sheer wash of pink it is really pretty so i am going to be keeping all those bobby brown tints and the lipstick i think they're really really lovely so these are the two westman atelier ones that i showed in my other video i'm just going to put them over here 
just until I decide whereabouts they're going to go, whether I'm going to pop them in here or whether I'm going to put them back in the case. The next two are probably when it comes to a new lipsticks, these are my favourites because the formula is beautiful and I love the shades. And this is the Guerlain, this is the Kiss Kiss and they are just beautiful and both shades are fairly new to me. I got them a couple of months ago or three months ago and one of them I picked up about a couple of months ago and both I just really really love and the packaging is beautiful as well. So first we'll take a look at the shade Lily Caress and this is the second one that I picked up and they give a beautiful beautiful color to the lips they are just super flattering and I often just wear a very just sort of neutral natural everyday type of makeup and I just find that these lipsticks are just perfect for that and this one is floral nude and I'll just show you that one as well both are just Beautiful. They're actually very similar, but I love both. And I do have a backup of this one. And I'm going to, when there's next sale here in New Zealand, I'm going to pick up a backup of that one as well. I just love them both. And I do reach for them a lot as well. Next, we'll go to K.O. Weiss. Just stunning packaging. And I love these lipsticks. I've worn them quite a bit in different videos that I've done. It's very heavy packaging and I just think it's really lovely. So this one is Thoughtful. Next is Serene. And the last one, I'm pretty sure, is a red. Yes, it's called KW Red. And it is a really beautiful red. I really like the formula of these. And I'll just lift up that bullet so you can see the, the KW, the logo embossing on there. It is really, really lovely. So definitely keeping all of those three. Next are the Hermes lipsticks. I don't have a lot. I do have four of them. This one is Rose Dietti and I'm pretty sure this is the one where you can't really see. It doesn't give too much of a pigment on the lips. I love the smell of these lipsticks and I also really love the packaging. I think it's beautiful. So I'd definitely be keeping this. This is a very sheer wash of colour. But again, I just like it for that everyday type of makeup. I think this is one of the newer ones. And this is Orange Cappuccino. And this one actually has more pigment than I thought it was going to. So for an orange lipstick, it gives like uh, just a wash of orange. And I think it is really, really lovely. So definitely keeping all of these. And this one is beige. And hopefully I'm going to run out of room soon. And that is the beige one. That is number 17. And then we have 05. This is another one. This is beige deal. And this is a lighter beige. Sort of has almost a little bit of a little bit of orange in it as well. Well, that's a really lovely nude type of color. So I really love these. I love the formula of them. They are the four ones. They are different formulas. There's a couple that are similar and a couple that are more of a satin. But I do really like them and I will be keeping all four of them. Next is a Givenchy lipstick and this is the only one I have. I just initially picked it up because I just love this velvet packaging. This is in the shade 1.6. It's a sheer velvet and this is Nude Rose. The packaging is really really beautiful. I don't think I've used this in a video but I have worn it 
and I think that is a really beautiful just like it says a really beautiful nude rose shade so I'm definitely keeping that and this is my only clay de peau lipstick and I love the shade I used it in a video just recently and this is number 11 and this is triumphant tawny and I want to get a backup of it but when I go to look it is often sold out so I think it is a really popular shade it's like the perfect nude it's just really really beautiful and the formula is absolutely gorgeous and the packaging is stunning as well next is a Sisley and I've still kept it in the velvet patch I want to get some more of these I love the formula this is number 10 and these are the Lafito Rouge ones this is a fairly nude type of shade I want to get another one that's got perhaps like a bit more pink in it but I do use this one it's got a slight bit of pink in it but I just like one that's got a little bit more and when you put this with one of the glosses or any gloss really it just looks really really beautiful so I am going to keep it in its pouch and that is a lipstick that I'm definitely going to keep and I do want to pick up some more shades and then up here are uh, eyeshadow sticks so that, I'm not going to look at those today but, but that's just the place that I keep them because they're quite tall but I'll figure out a place for them later and then we have a whole lot of Tom Ford lipsticks now I'm going to go through them all unless they've gone off then I would imagine that I will be keeping them all now one that I do think probably has expired and this is the clutch sized one and this is in the shade 1R Paul and I really love the shade I've used it quite a bit you can see that I have and it is a really beautiful pink but I think I'm just yeah I, it does it has a smell to it that isn't quite right now I have heard that the Tom Ford lipsticks can go off quite quickly so unfortunately I'm going to have to declutter that but I do love that shade next are newer ones that came out this year and alongside there were three fragrances that came out as well and I did buy one of the fragrances the fragrance that I bought was Rose de Rossi and I think it is gorgeous so and this one is called Rose de Rossi and it is number 55 and I really love this white and black packaging I think it's gorgeous this is the boldest one out of the three it is really really gorgeous it's quite a bold color for me but when I put it on I do quite like it now these ones I think that I will store in here because they are quite tall lipsticks next is Rose de Malfi and this is number 53 that is a beautiful nude shade it's really really gorgeous probably more of my shade that I would go to more than that one but both are really beautiful shades and then finally we have Rose de Chine and this is number 54 so I'll put this one right on here I ran out of room quite quickly so Rose de Chine, Rose de Rossi and uh, de Malfi one all three are really lovely probably the one that I would use the most would probably be this one here but that's because I tend to use those with my everyday makeup but I love all the shades and I love the packaging of them as well so next is shade this is to seal to seal I think it is and this is a pink but it is quite it's quite a bright pink but I quite like it it's not too much of a Barbie pink it's a bit brighter than I would usually have but I do like the formula of that it's quite a glossy type of lipstick and I think that shades really lovely and because that's a taller one I'm going to put that in there as well next is this one is nudist and this is 09 I love the shade you can see the ones that I've used more of 
and that's a bit more muted and this is a beautiful shade on I really love the Tom Ford lipsticks I was going to put it in there but this is a shorter one so I'll just leave it up here for now I just love the shades of them I think he has really beautiful shades this one is the Sunlit Rose Lip Balm and this is a beautiful shade now it'll take a bit to swatch it to show you the color but it is more pigmented than I thought it was going to be and I think that this looks gorgeous on I really love this shade I think it's really beautiful and you can see I have used it quite a bit it's really really lovely next we have what shade is this so this is a blush nude and you can tell by the name that I'm gonna love it and I do again you can see I've used it quite a bit so that is more pink but it's very soft and the name just suits the color it is just a really beautiful blush nude it's really lovely then we have got Bad Lieutenant, another favourite of mine. So it's got a little bit more rose in it than this one here, but both are really, really lovely. Really beautiful shades that I do tend to wear a lot. This one is 71. This is Contempt, and I think this is pretty bold. It is, and this is like an orange. Well, not like an orange it is orange it might have a little bit of brown in it but that is a beautiful color as well I do quite like orange lipsticks I like the thought of them probably more than wearing them but when I put them on I do think they look really nice now this shade is true coral number zero nine so that is quite bold and that's not really one it's not really a color that I would wear that much so I'm actually going to pass this one on I didn't think I'd get rid of one of the Tom Ford lipsticks but I did now this one I am not going to pass on this is unique and I like it it has glitter in it but I really like it and I can't read the name of it it's extreme I can't read the name of it but so it's this really beautiful brown orange and hopefully you can see the glitter in it I just think it's a stunning lipstick and yes the glitter does show when you wear it on your lips as well and hopefully you can see the glitter in it I think it's really really stunning and I have worn it a couple of times it's probably not one that I'd reach for that often but I love the packaging I love the look of it and yeah it's just stunning so I'm definitely going to keep that in my collection next we have Riviera and this is the taller lipstick as well so I'll be able to put this down here and it doesn't look like I've really used that one much this is a recent one as well but this is a really beautiful color on and I've sort of forgotten about it but it is a lovely color so I'm definitely going to keep that one and it's one of the newer ones anyway so I'm going to put that in there and I think this might be the last Tom Ford lipstick unless I've got one hiding in one of the drawers down there but I think this is the last one and this one is Sweet Spot. This is more of a coral. It came out with this color as well. Now I am running out of room. So we'll go to Sweet Spot. So that is a really bright coral. But if I'm doing sort of a warm look, this is the type of lipstick that I would wear. I think it's really lovely. It's a bit more bold than I would normally go for. But I still think it is a gorgeous shade so I will be keeping that one and then last in here I think is a YSL lipstick and it is number all I can see on here is that it's number 21 and I think this is a really yeah it's a really beautiful red the formula feels gorgeous I've worn it about once or twice but that is probably as close to a perfect red for me that I can think of I think it is 
absolutely gorgeous and the packaging is lovely too so I will be keeping that so I've ended up with a little bit more room in here so what I'm going to do is with the NARS the velvet sticks I'm going to put them up in the back here and I'll just pop all the others back as well And in here I've got my lip glosses and I'm not going to go through all of these. I think I'm pretty much going to keep all of them. The two Suku ones I absolutely love. I just think that they are gorgeous. And this Tom Ford one is unique because it goes on like a gold and then it changes to a peach colour. And I use this one quite a lot. I love both of these Suku lip glosses. And I've got some Natasha Denona ones here. That doesn't fit in very well. So this is quite an older one. And this is a coral. And it's also a lip plumper. I will just show you this very quickly. It is quite bold. And it has that. From memory, I think it has like that mint taste for, for plumping. And that one is actually really nice. What I'm going to do is just put that Tom Ford one over there. It's the only Tom Ford lip gloss I've got. And these two Natasha Denona ones, in the last video I swatched the from I Need a Rose. I had two of the lipsticks. They were Peony and Daphne. And I got the lip glosses to match. And both of those are really nice as well. I love Pat McGrath lip glosses. I think they are gorgeous. And I'm just trying to find, I will swatch it for you. I think the one that I had the backup for at the beginning of the video, that one was Coralize. And I think, no, that one's under your spell. It might be in the bottom drawer. Or, oh, this one I think is Coralize. I think, yes, this is the one I've got the backup for see down here I've used this a lot and I will swatch this one for you it is just stunning and it has a shift to it and it's just really beautiful I love the formula of these I really really like Pat McGrath lip glosses I think they're lovely I had a bit of difficulty opening the bottom drawer they don't quite can't fit one on top of the other that well then it doesn't open this is a by terry one and this is really lovely it's almost clear and it smells like rose which i think is really beautiful it just has a very faint color and it feels really nice on too so i'm going to keep that this is a kaya weiss one this was the sample i got when i bought it might have been when i bought the eyeshadows and I think this is really lovely. And this is in Tenderness. That's a really nice one as well. This is a Vizzy Art one. I don't really reach for this a lot. I think this might have been a gift with purchase as well. I can't remember. It's Patel. And it is, it's like a sort of a bubblegum pink. It's quite pretty, but I think I'll pass that on. Either my sister-in-law or my niece would like that one. So I'll put that one over here. This is the Wayne Goss. I've only got one of his lip glosses. And this is an antique rose. And I do like the Wayne Goss formula. The only thing is, I don't really like the short applicator. I do prefer the longer wand. But there is nothing wrong with the gloss and it does make, if you put this over the lipsticks that he has as well, or any of your lipsticks, it does give a beautiful sheen. So I am going to keep that. Next, I'm going to be getting rid of this. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills one and I used a lot of this. It's nearly empty anyway. This is in the shade Freya. They have, from memory, I haven't reached for this for a while. There's quite a bit of glitter in there and I think you can feel it on but I did love them and I did use it a lot but I'm going to get rid of that one this is another Anastasia Beverly Hills one and this was a clear one with some sparkle in it as well so you won't be able to see that at all I don't really reach for it much and one thing I find with clear when you go 
because you're supposed to be able to use the applicator that comes with it. You get your other coloured lipsticks on there and it starts mixing in. I don't know, it's just something about that I um, don't really like. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And this is another Anastasia Beverly Hills and this was in Venus. I'll get rid of that one as well. I just don't really reach for them. And another Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I've hardly used. And this is in Gilded. This one I might pass on. The other two I'd used a lot. That is quite a nice colour. But I will pass that on to my sister-in-law. And these three in here are the new Bobbi Browns. These are the Lip Gloss Hybrid Lip Oils. And there's one new shade, this one, and it's called Kerr Sugar. I did a video on these not too long ago, and I love all these shades, and I've been reaching for them all, especially this one, Bellini. It's like the perfect pink, and it's really just stunning. So I'm definitely keeping all of those. So I'm going to pop those all back in there. Then I have a Sisley lip gloss and I can't quite read what the shade of this one is but these feel beautiful on. It's like, is it sort of a rose colour? I'm not too sure. It's just a very light pink. But that goes beautiful over lipsticks as well and just has a really, it's not too much of a shine. It's not like a Pat McGrath or anything like that but it, it's very subtle. But I do like, and I do want to pick up some more Sissy lip glosses. I think they're really, really lovely. So I'm going to put that one in there because I'm definitely keeping that. These are going to go. And I've been waiting to do a declutter video. These are stillers and not only are they old, but I really like this shade. You can see I actually nearly used it all. This is Pink Slip and this one is Golden Parachute. And I did used to wear them quite a bit. And you see where I've thrown them in my purse, the packaging hasn't held up and they've sort of worn off. But I just wanted to show you that's what I did have. I haven't really bought any other Stella products for quite a long time, but I really enjoyed these two. And I think from memory they're quite reasonably priced. And even the Stella logo on here has worn off. They don't wear well when they're rubbing against other products. And if you're carrying them around to top up during the day, you just sort of have to be careful where you put them because, yeah, everything just tends to wear off a bit. But the actual formula I did quite like. So I got rid of a few lip glosses. So that's good. Now I've got room, maybe if I want to buy some more. So I'm just going to push that back and I'm going to bring over this one. So I've got two of these. I'm just going to push this drawer in a little bit. So I've got two of these. So this one I've got Chantecaille. I've got quite a lot of Chantecaille. Christian Dior. I'm trying to add more from the Dior lipstick range and I've done that this year and I'm pretty happy I think with I think all the shades that I've got they're very nice and then at the back here we've got some Victoria Beckham ones as well I love the Victoria Beckham ones I think they're all lovely now, I love all these lipsticks and I do like I said in my last video even though I've got the drawers now I still like to keep some things on display so I imagine I'm probably going to keep nearly all of these on display so let's start off with these other lip cheeks and this is in the shade Daphne. I love the lip cheek formula. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So that is Daphne. Next is, this is Hyacinth and the packaging is really beautiful too, Chantecaille. It's really lovely. That is Hyacinth. And this one is Honeysuckle. I've still got some glitter on my hand from the lip glosses. <laughs> it's quite hard to get off sometimes. Then we have Jarul. It's J-A-R-U-L. All shades that I wear though. They're all just really lovely. And this one is Latana. And these are the more recent ones, not from the, from the very latest collection, but just before that, we have Jasmine. This one is Freesia.
Then this one is Willow and I picked up this one just recently and that is a really beautiful cool pink. They're all very wearable and definitely my type of everyday shade. Next we'll go to stick with Shondakai and this one is I think it says Calendula and from memory I think oh, this, yes it's an orange one but it, because it's more sheer it is one that I will keep and it does look really nice on. It is a really lovely formula and the packaging on that is just stunning. Really gorgeous blue. I'll just move that over a bit and this one is the Lip Veil formula and this one is called Honey Pot. So this one is Peach Blossom. It's a really beautiful shade. Next we have a Cappuccino. Casing on that is really beautiful and then this one is Clover so these are these ones here I'm you these are the lip chic formula that's the formula I have the most of so that's all my Chantecaille lipsticks and I'm going to keep them all I think they're all lovely I love the formula and they're definitely ones that I reach for Next I will take out the Victoria Beckham ones. As I said, I love all of these. So I've got these in the shade Girl and Sway and Smile. Some of these are really sheer. They really do just give a wash of colour. I love the formula though and I love the packaging and the bullet. I think they're very elegant type of lipstick. So this one is a girl. It's a really beautiful nude. And this one is Sway. I think I started off getting these because last year I got the Nita Porter Advent Calendar and this is the lipstick that came with it. So once I tried it, I knew I had to get some more because I really enjoyed the formula. This one is Smile. And this is very nude, but it is a lovely shade. So next we'll take a look at the Dior lipsticks. I think all of them I will be keeping. I do love them all. So this one is 100 this is nude look and this is metallic this is probably my favorite out of the dual ones that i've got so far this is just stunning on it's really beautiful and i don't tend to wear this is quite brown i don't tend to wear it a lot this color but because this one has that metallic in it it just sort of lifts the color and this looks gorgeous on a really beautiful shade. I would get a backup of this one. I think it is absolutely stunning. Next is number 633 and this is Coral. And these are the Satin Balms. So I love the formula of these and they just give that hint of colour but they look really beautiful on. I do really enjoy those. And this one is 365, it's a satin, this is called New World. Then we have 726, this is a satin balm as well. And this is a bronze. And it's really beautiful. And even though it's quite a deep, what well, is a bronze brown, because it is just a balm, again, it just gives that wash of colour. And I think it looks really, really beautiful. And finally, we have 999 in satin. So this is the iconic 
Dior lipstick in the red and it is really beautiful. I had to pick it up. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So because these trays have been sitting on, well before I had these cabinets I had a table and they've been collecting a bit of dust. So I'm just going to go and give this a wipe out and then I'll put all these back in. So now I'm just going to put all these back. I might put some in the drawer here. I think I'll put Victoria Beckham ones in here. You can fit two in one which is quite good. So I'll just pop them upside down so I can see the shade. And then all the rest I will just put back in this container here. So I'm just going to move that one back and then I'm just going to get my last lot of lipsticks and we'll go through those. So in this one it's nearly all Chanel and there's still some Dior so I probably should have them with the with these ones but I might move them all around again a bit later. Now I'm pretty sure I'm going to be keeping all of these. So let's take a look at the Chanel ones I've got. This is the Coco Flash. This is in the shade Romance. And then we have 146 and this is in the shade Dazzle. This is the Rouge Coco Flash as well. And then we have 172 and this is the shade Flannery. Next is 154 and this is Dossier. This was a limited edition and I'm really annoyed that I did not pick up a backup of this. I just really, really love it. I don't even think you'll be able to see it on the back of my hand. I'm a bit too tanned. But on the lips, this is just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm sad that I didn't get a backup of this. And I love the Coco Flash formula. I think it's really, really beautiful. Next is 162. And this is Sunbeam. And then I think the last Coco Flash one I have is 158 and this is in the shade Dawn. And this is a beautiful nude as well. So that one was Dossier and so I'll put Dawn down here so it has a bit more pigment. But that is really beautiful as well. They are all beautiful shades. But this is definitely one that I reach for, for a sort of nude, natural, everyday type of makeup look. I think it's a really beautiful shade. Next are two Coco Bloom ones. One is 128 and this is the shade Magic. And then we have 130 and this is the shade Blossom. Let's bring it down a bit so you can see it. And then we have one of the Rouge Allure inks. And this is, I think I can read it, 234. And this is Evocation. This is a really beautiful sort of brick red colour. It's really lovely and I do like the formula of these inks. I think they're really lovely. This is from, this came out in the Le Comet range. And this is 118. This is Boys de Rose Astral. And it has the pop out. And this is a really lovely shade too. Really beautiful. It's a really beautiful rose. And then we have two of the Rouge Coco Balms, 916 Fluty Coral and 918 My Rose. I've used Fluty Coral quite a bit. I think these are really lovely balms. Again, you get that colour, but it's just a wash of colour, but it looks really beautiful on, and these are a lovely formula. They feel really comfortable on. So I'll just put on My Rose.
and then this one I've kept the packaging because I do that sometimes with some of my products it doesn't mean I don't use it it's just sometimes I like to keep the packaging that it came in as well so this is from the the special the factory number five that they put out last year this is 191 and this is Rouge Brillant so I'm just going to take this out so we can take a look at it and instead of this other one that had like the from the comet series it's got the number five on it and this is really lovely color too and then here are some Dior's these are I think these are the lip tints this is the oil which I absolutely love but we'll still keep going with Chanel these are definitely not new in any way but they are new to me I bought them this year because I hadn't tried this formula and I just wanted to see what they were like so I got light rose and the other color that I picked up was tender beige so we'll have a look at tender beige so that is tender beige they have a beautiful opacity to them I think they're gorgeous and these do wear really well they are just fantastic so this is light rose And then of course they have that clear lip gloss to go on top and they're just really really lovely so now we'll just take a look at these christian dior ones this is from the recent riviere collection and i think this one is called coral something i'm not quite sure i can't read at the bottom of it but the formula of these are beautiful i do reach for this one a lot i think it is just such you can't really see just a wash of color but the formula of these is really, really beautiful. So I do want to pick up some more of this formula. I think that they're just beautiful. And then finally, we have these lip tints. And I have 451, 421 and 251. So we'll start off with 251. and then we have 451 and then finally we've got 421 and the packages are color coded as well which makes things very easy when you want to reach for a color So those are all my lipsticks. I haven't decluttered that many. I've decluttered quite a few lip glosses and I just haven't looked to where I've put them. Only two lipsticks, two Tom Ford ones, the one Paul that had gone off and then that other one, that colour, and I'll just reach over and just grab it. Which colour was that? That was True Coral, the one that I probably wouldn't reach for. So I'll pass that one on. So what I did was I wanted all the Dior together so I've still got some more room to pick up some more Dior lipsticks at the back and the Chantecaille ones that I probably reach for the most I've put here and the rest back in the drawer and I've got all my Chanel ones here so I've got some room for some more Chanel lipsticks but I'll have to figure something else out because I'm sure I'm going to collect some more so I'm going to put those back to the right of me again because these have a drawer on them I could just keep them all on the dresser like this but I'd have to move them every time I want to reach for a lip gloss so they're really better on the other drawer so I'm just going to move those over now so that's it for my lipstick declutter I think I've organized everything pretty well I've still got some more room in this drawer especially if I get the taller lipsticks I can put them through not so much here I wouldn't be able to reach them this as far as the drawer comes out but I've definitely got more room here and if I get even more lipsticks then I'll have to clear out one of these drawers what I've done is I've put 
eyeshadows by brands and a lot of these drawers where really they could go together so I've still got plenty of room but I've got lots of lipsticks but I feel like everything's a lot more organized now I think I'm going to be reaching for a lot more that I had forgotten about so I'm really happy I'm glad to be able to giving some away to my sister-in-law even my niece might grab a couple and the rest I just feel like everything's just a lot more organized so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.